हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्लैशिंग कोडर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द क्वेश्चन दैट इज मिनिमम स्वैप्स एंड के टुगेदर सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ मीडियम लेवल क्वेश्चन एंड हैज बीन आस्ड इन वेरियस इंटरव्यूज फॉर एमेजॉन गूगल एंड फेसबुक सो लेट्स सी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट गिवन एन एरे ऑफ एन पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स एंड ए नंबर के फाइंड द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ स्वैप्स रिक्वायर्ड टू ब्रिंग ऑल द नंबर्स लेस देन और इक्वल टू के टुगेदर सो दैट मीन्स वी आर गिवन एन एरे ऑफ साइज एन एंड ऑल्सो अ नंबर के एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड ऑल द एलिमेंट्स विच आर लेस देन और इक्वल टू के and bring them together so we will have to require we will require some swaps so we have to return minimum number of swaps required to bring all the elements which are less than or equal to k together so we, uh, the input will be in format like we will be given the test cases the number of test cases then the size of the array then the elements of the array here you can see the elements of the array then the k k value so this is the test case the size of the array the array elements and the k value and we will have to return the minimum number of swaps swaps possible so you can see the constraints also so constraints are like uh, the size of the array will range from 1 to 50 and the test cases will range from 1 to 100 so which is not a big uh, like constraints so let's see how we can solve this questions and i will explain you also the examples so let's see so if you don't understand the problem statement so let me explain you again so here you can see this is the input that we give, give we are given so here i have uh, excluded the test cases so you can see this is the size of the array so these are the elements and this is the value of k so this k is 6 here so we have, what we have to do we are given this array and we have to find all the elements which are less than or equal to k so here k is 6 so elements less than or equal to 6 are 2 You can see seven is greater than six, and nine is greater than six. Then five, eight is greater, seven is greater, and seven for this four. So you can see these are the three elements which are less than or equal to k. That is six here. So now you can see five, two, five, and four. And we have to bring these elements together. For bringing these elements together, we will have to swap some elements. So we have to return the minimum number of swaps required to bring them together. So let's see. So here, if you see. Here three elements are there, so that means the uh, the maximum size of this will be the particular sub array will be of size three. So you can see here if we take this two, seven, and nine. So here two is smaller than six, but the seven and nine are greater. So we'll have to swap this seven and nine with five and four. So the minimum number of swaps for this part will be two. You can see two swaps will be required. First we will swap seven with five. You can see here five. Then we will swap this nine with four. But now if you say uh, Like if you try to find another solution for this, maybe there can be a more more minimum number of swaps. Let's see. So here, if you see this seven, nine, and five, this sub array. If you see it now, you can see five is less than equal to uh, six. Yes, it is true. But now seven and nine are again greater than six. So that means minimum number of swaps for this sub array will be again two because we will have to bring two here and four also here. At place of four, seven and nine, so again minimum number of swaps will be two. So like this, we will have to find the minimum number of swaps for a given array, uh, where we have to bring the elements, all the elements which are less than equal to k together. So this is what we have to do. Now the naive approach for this solution can be first of all we find the number of elements which are less than equal to k. So you can see this and this and this. So the number of elements less than equal to k will be you can, oh sorry. It will be three. So you know that elements are see uh, three. So now you will find all the sub arrays of the size three, and you will try to swap the elements. Now, if you try to swap the elements, so for that, for finding the every sub array of the array, you will require an o n of square time. Okay, o of n square time. So it will be a naive approach, and you you know that it will be required to use two for loops. So we'll have to use two for loops. So it will take the solution to n of uh, o of n square. So now the space complexity for this will be o of n. But now, if you tell this approach in the interview, he will be happy. But he will ask you to optimize this solution further because the constraints are also not large. So there must be a way where we can, instead of using this two nested for loops, we can simply make the solution in o linear time. Okay, we can find the solution in linear time. So let's see how we can do that. So I will uh, first of all explain you the approach. Let's see. So here, as you know, we have to find first of all the minimum. Uh, first, find the elements which are less than or equal to k. So here you can see. We can, let's see. It is c. Okay, but we are find, uh, writing it here as c. So let's see two five three. So there are three elements which are less than equal to k. So now the maximum size of sub array here will be of size three only because this two and five and four are needed to be uh, need to be bring together. So for doing that, let's see. So here if you compare this sub array, so here the minimum number of swaps that will be required will be the elements which are greater than k. So you know if this element is less than k, so we do not need to swap it. So the uh, the swaps required for this sub array will be the elements which are greater than k. So k is six. The elements greater are seven and nine. So there are two elements. So that means two swaps will be required because we will have to bring two small elements here instead of this. And the size of the sub array is 
you can see the size of the sub array is found by finding the all the elements which are less than or equal to k because if we know that there are three elements less than or equal to k so we need to find a, a we need to make a sub array of size 3 only and find the minimum number of swaps to make that sub array so this will be our approach so let's see for uh, another uh, sub array you can see for this sub array also if you compare this 9 5 and 8 so for this sub array it is of size 3 so that means yeah it is uh, correct now if you see here what will be the minimum number of swaps required to make it like 2 5 4 so 2 5 4 so how you can see with that so the maximum elements or the sorry the elements which are greater than 6 so you can see 9 and 8 are greater than 6 so that means they need to be swapped so they need to be swapped so you can see if it we are swapped this with uh, we swap this with 2 and we swap the 8 with the 4 so the minimum number of swaps for this sub array will be also 2 so here if you see carefully the term that we will be using for this sub array will be a window so if you see we will be finding the number of elements which are less than or equal to k so that value that we are getting this 3 3 will be the size of our window that will be searching for so 3 will be of our size of the window so this is actually size of our window that is 3 size uh, sized window so for this window we will have to find the minimum number of swaps required so the number of swaps required for this window will be actually the elements which are greater than k so you can see the 7 and 9 are greater than 6 so that means they need to be swapped out so for every window what we will do is we will for every window in this sub array like this okay this window this window then this window okay for every window in this uh, array we will be finding the swaps number of swaps required for the particular window and we will maintain a result variable which will be uh, which will be having the minimum number of swaps that is minimum of current swap for the particular window and the previous result that we were having so this will be our, our approach so let's see so this will be the algorithm for the solution as you know in the sliding window uh, this will be actually named as sliding sliding window approach so let's see in sliding window what we are doing is we are like if we have this element okay we have the, uh, so first of all for starting the sliding window approach we will have to compute the value for the first like sub array or the first sized window so let's see how we can do that if we have to find the sum of every uh, window of size k okay here k is 6 for example okay uh, kc actually k is the number of the elements so let's let me do this actually sorry so let's see so for every uh, if we have to find the size if we have to find the sum of every sized window okay k sized window so if here if our value is 3 okay size of window is 3 so if we find the sum of this okay we will have to compute the sum of this so it will be 7 plus 9 that is 16 plus 2 it will be 18 okay 18 now for finding the size or uh, sorry the sum of the next window okay what we can do is we can simply add the 5 into this window okay instead of calculating it again and again we have the previous value what we can do we can add this 5 to 18 so uh, we can add this 5 to 18 and subtract the 2 from it we can subtract the 2 from it because 2 has been removed from the window and uh, window has moved to the next element so next element will be added and the previous element is removed so our 2 is removed let me show you again so let's see so if we have the value for this okay if we have value for this array okay the sum of this array just uh, for example i'm explaining this generally so if we have the sum of this sub array okay this window and we have to find the sum of this window so what we can do is for uh, if we have sum of this window so if we have like sum x so what we can do is we can add the next value so next value will be added okay and the previous value that we have excluded for excluded from the window will be removed so it will be plus 7 minus 9 okay so this will be our approach so actually the this is the general approach for the sliding window so for this array for every sub window or oh, sorry sub window so every sub window so for every window we will maintain the number of elements which are greater than k so here for this window if you see two uh, this two seven nine so in this window of size three so how can we determine the size three as i told you previously so the size of the window will be dependent on the number of elements which are less than or equal to k so for this particular uh, given input we have the value as three so let me uh, write it as count okay it will be written as count you can see here count the elements uh, less than so you can see this count is three actually for this array this count is three so now you can see before this window we will pre-compute the value so we will compute it as c so now you can see we will count the number of elements which are greater than equal to uh, greater than k so here the elements greater than k are 7 and 9 so count will be 2 here for this window okay this window and we will maintain a result variable as, as, as i told you we will maintain a minimum global result so it will be result variable and we will be saving it to the result c will be saved to result now we have the value for the first window okay now what we can do we can start a while loop you can see here the so result is saved okay result is saved this 2 is saved into that variable now we will have to use the sliding window approach so we have the value for the first window 
so we have the value for the first window so now what we can do is when we move to this window okay we we have the value for this window let me write it so we have value for this window so it is 2 okay value is 2 the count variable is 2 now when we move to this window this particular window what we can do is we add this value element instead of adding we don't have to sum anything so we will check if this element is greater than k if this element is greater than k then our c will be incremented obviously it will be incremented and when we are removing the element okay we will check for this element here you can see i will be initialized to the first index 0 and j will be initialized to the size of the window that is total size so now you can see this i and j will keep incrementing and the, they will maintain the window size of 3 here the 3 uh, okay size is 3 so they will keep maintaining the size as 3 while i uh, j is less than n because j will uh, first reach the n before the i because j is starting from the uh, kth uh, or the count index you can see this 3 so let's see so here are some conditions that we need to compute for the for every window so now you can see if a of i is greater than k so that means if this element if we are the, in this index okay if we are in this index okay if you see here the value of c is actually 2 these elements are greater now if we go to this window here if you see we remove we don't have to see for any, anything for this element because this is less than k so this need not to be swapped so we are uh, counting the value for the elements which are need to be which needed to be swapped with like which are greater than k so here the elements were 7 and 9 so 2 is smaller than k so we need not to swap it or count it into any variable so we will not change our count variable when we add this value to 5 oh, okay this window uh, the this 5 into the window now you can see here a of j a of j is this 5 okay a of j 5 is greater than k that is not true so that means for this window also you can see 7 9 and 5 our uh, this count will be 2 only the, the minimum number of swaps will be 2 so for every in every uh, like window we will be updating our minimum result so global result our global result will be 2 2 uh, and out of uh, 2 the minimum will be 2 only so uh, two, both are equal so 2 will be our minimum now if you go to the next index let's see now if you go to the next in uh, next window now if you go if you go to this window from this window okay so now you can see if you see 7 so 7 is greater than k so that means our count variable was maintaining the, the uh, uh, elements which are greater than k number of elements which are greater than k in a window so if we remove this 7 so this count will obviously decrement so it will become 1 for this particular or common uh, window you can see 9 and 5 it will become 1 because there is only one element which is greater than k so it will become one and when we are adding the element here you can see a of i will, is greater than k so uh, sorry yeah a of i is greater than k so you can see we decremented our c now we will check for j this is our j okay this is i for this window and this is j now if we check for this j this is also greater than c so that means our c will increment so we, one will increment to two okay you can see c plus plus and we will again check result of uh, result is equal to minimum of result so result was uh, 2 only and the new result is also 2 so the result is 2 only so that is what we are doing in this algorithm so let me explain you generally uh, let's again uh, see uh, in a summary so let's see so actually you, so you can see also this approach will only take o of n time and o of n space because we are traversing the array only one and we are maintaining the window size so first what we'll do we'll calculate the number of elements which are less than k so if in this array number of elements in uh, less than k are 3 so that means our size of window will be 3 okay size of window will be 3 then we will calculate the number of elements which are greater than k for this window it is 2 when we move to the next window we will check if the previous element is greater than k so if it is greater than k our count variable will uh, value will its value will change so now you can see this 2 is less than k so that means this value will not change so now when we add this value 5 so it is also not greater than uh, 6 so that means this value will again not change so our result will be 2 at this point now when we move to the next index so 9 let me erase the previous one so when we move to this index uh, this window that is 9 5 and 8 we remove this element so for removing this element you can see this is greater than k so that means our count variable will decrement for this point our count has decremented number of elements greater than k has become 1 when we add this element 8 so our count will again increment because it is greater than you can uh, see 3 so sorry 6 so it will increment now it will become 2 so now again we'll check if the, it, 2 is minimum or 2 uh, out of 2 and 2 2 is only minimum so our result will be 2 for every window we will keep checking our if our this result failure really gets minimum so the, at last we will print the result so let's see the code so here we have to input the test case uh, ourselves and the uh, all take all the inputs so you can see here i've just uh, input the test cases and i've called this function and at last you don't forget to print this uh, next line to this next line so let's see so again this this is the solve function 
now in this code you can see this uh, for this part we have input uh, taken the inputs you can see n is inputted then the, we will see in the array okay elements of the array then the k that is the number that we will be checking for then you can see we have uh, first of all we, this is the count of the variables which are the elements which are less than or equal to k so first of all we will run a loop through the array and then we will find the elements which are less than or equal to k and we will increment the x so x will be actually the size of our window that will be we will be maintaining then we will be computing the size or, or the values for the first window so for doing that we will run the loop from 0 to x so x will be the size of the window so if our x is 3 for this window in this array let me raise this sorry so if our x is 3 so that means we will calculate the value from 0 to 3 so this index actually you can see it will run till less than 3 so it will be of size 3 so we will compute that value and we will increment our count and we will save it to a result as a possible result then we will compute for the whole array incrementing our window and in uh, adding the one element to the window or to the current window and uh, and removing the previous element from the window so let's see so you can see while j is less than n as j will become uh, j will come to n before the i because j is starting from the some value other than 0 so let's see so you can see if the element i is greater than k so that means our previous element that we have to remove that we remove from the window was greater than k so that means it will affect our count variable so if it is greater than k so our count variable will be decremented because the elements in the window that are greater than k will be less okay so it will be decremented and when we are adding an element so j will be element uh, that we will be adding so j will be the index of the element that we are adding so you can see if we add this element 8 to the this window okay this window that was previous window we remove 7 so our count will be decremented if it is 2 it will be decremented and then if you see k is greater uh, this 8 is greater than k so again it will be incremented so this is what we are doing and at last at uh, every uh, after this for every window we will check if our result is minimum or not okay we will update a result to the minimum value out of result or current uh, c we are getting so then we will be incrementing our i and j at every iteration then we will be returning or printing our result okay let's see and submit this solution so actually as you know this solution will only take o of n time because we are traversing the array only one time and the space will be only o of 1 because we are using some variables only so this approach will be better if you tell this approach in the interview so he will be happy uh, uh, happy and he will obviously give you the job so let's see you can see the execution time so is 0 0.01 second so this was the solution for this guys thank you for watching do like this video and subscribe to the channel for more such videos